If you're willing to go under the knife, you still probably have a lot of questions when it comes to breast enhancement surgery, just like our next guest, Charlene. I'm 25 years old, but I feel like I have the chest of an 11-year-old. I'm faking it right now. Padded bra. I have 34A breasts. I'm self-conscious in a bathing suit. I'm self-conscious when I get into a new relationship with a guy because I'm afraid of what he's gonna think. Curious about the idea of implants, but I know that there's so many different kinds and different prices, and I really just don't know where to start. Well, just a few days ago, Charlene underwent Vectra multidimensional imaging. We were able to give her a preview of what she would look like with implants using this fabulous technology. So, Dr. Orden. And, and you know, I think this is one of the biggest decisions, one of the biggest parts of the consultation process is, is thinking about size. And obviously, we saw your pictures. You're in great shape. You have a nice figure. Thank I you. would say you're in A cup now. Yes. And as Travis and I said, A cup is okay. Mm -hmm. But if it bothers you, if you would like a little bit of enhancement, I think you, you probably would be a great candidate. So I think this is a great way using the, uh, the vector imaging to give you an idea of what we can do. Okay, so we have your image currently as an A cup. I like to show you in that three quarter view, all right? This is the way you are now and I'm gonna take you through this. Let's say we go up to about like that. It's probably like a B cup, all right? Okay. You know, we go a little bit further. That's a C cup. And then finally, this would be a 600 cc implant. Oh my lord. That's an E cup. <laughs> and, and do we have a split where we can put all these together? We do, and we, we, we have a split to show you what we've done on the imaging. We're showing you an A cup, a B cup, and what we're calling a full D. Clearly, the, I, I, I like Whoa, what's Charlene like? Well, <laughs> I don't want you to answer. Yeah. I don't want you to answer. Oh, what I was going to say was the D cup's definitely too much. Okay, I wouldn't and disagree then, with that. So, what looks best for you? I would like to go with a B cup because I want to keep the athletic figure. Yeah, because it's. And I do work out, so I don't want it to be too much of a hassle. Um, because it does interfere with running and things you always have to, mm -hmm. yeah. And I so, want it to look real. And you make such a great point. We don't want to do anything that's going to make you look unnatural. Too big is going to look unnatural right. mm -hmm. on your figure. Natural comes first. But you have implant options as well. And there are differences w with price. The first option is saline. It's salt water. The, the advantage is we know that it's just salt water. It's safe. Downside is they do, they can leak, so you lose all the volume, you have a deflated implant, mm -hmm. you lose your result. Mm -hmm. And there, is, there, are, there are differences in prices, so with the saline, it's a little less expensive, it's around $3,500. This is silicone gel, this is what I do in the majority of patients, the patients I've done over the years. Silicone gel, we know that silicone is safe. I think it's the most natural feel when it when it's in the body yeah. and and this one a little more expensive because it's the cost of the implant itself that's that's more about thirty eight hundred dollars now these are national average prices it may vary you know a little more expensive for example in Southern California than than maybe in the Midwest and these fees some probably do not include cost of anesthesia and facility now this implant is what we call the gummy bear implant this is still being tested under uh, investigation. It's a thicker silicone gel. It feels a little different with a textured surface. Wow. That's sort of the future. That has advantages and disadvantages. And at the moment, it's more expensive. So that's just, just the implant and the surgery is $5,000. That's a pretty Shopping penny. for breasts? Yeah. And, yeah. Last, for and last yeah. but not yeah. least, no, this is not a breast implant. Okay, good. I would hope really not. really scary. Yeah. No, what, what that is, that's supposed to represent fat. People are doing breast augmentation using your own fat. You don't have much fat on you. I don't think we could find this much fat to augment your breast. I personally am not a believer in using fat for breast augmentation. We, we wouldn't be able to get the kind of result, the volume that you want, just based on fat alone. This is better for smaller defects, things like that. I see. And, and this is a little more pricey? 
Yes, this, thank you. To sum it up, silicone gel prosthesis placed below the muscle through an incision around the nipple, you get a result, something very similar to that.